Grab your glasses, everybody. It's time for a Moonshine Safari. Hey, welcome, everybody, to Moonshine Safari. I'm Josh. I'm Dina. Hey, and over there on the couch is Hoochie. Hoochie's here. Hoochie's here. Hoochie's our little malty poo. <laughs> there she is. See, she says hi, she everybody. She says hi. She says hi. She gives you all a shout out or a bark out. Get a shout out? Come here. That's right. She actually the... landed on our Instagram. Uh, oh, that's right. Yesterday, if you want to see a f- right, if you want to see a full face up of her, yes. If she could do a selfie, if she had thumbs, that's what <laughs> right, it would look that's like. That's what it would look because like. it's that's like right. right up in her grill. So go to the Instagram page at Moonshine Safari, and you can see Hoochie Mama's face. And today we have her daughter's picture. Oh, is it up there today? Cookie just. Cookie just landed on. Oh, Moonshine I haven't Safari. seen that yet. Okay, I haven't seen the update. Okay. Uh, Dana, did you know it's the 31st episode today? I would have known it had I thought about it. You thought last week yeah, was the 31st week episode. Was the 30 That's episode. correct. Right. So last week's was the 30th, and the week before that was the 29th. And did you know that you can listen to all previous 30 episodes? You're so lucky. You're so lucky. <laughs> and uh, you could do that at SoundCloud. You can do that on YouTube. YouTube, um, I think that's it. Wait, SoundCloud, SoundCloud YouTube, YouTube. Patreon. You, they can get to it from our website. And the website, that's true. Moonshotsafari.com. Da, 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 da. Hey, this is a shout out time there. I said, hey, I was, oh, I've been so conscious about not saying that, but I did. I just <laughs> said it and I hey. caught myself. See, um, it's time for the shout outs. Um, we have, I like to give a shout out to Rudy's Barbecue and Gilbert. It was amazing. Ooh, it was wonderful. That brisket, brisket was fantastic. Man, that's the only thing we had, but oh, it was delicious. We had the to be moist fair, I brisket. told Josh that I think he just likes brisket, but it really well, was. Well, I do, good. and that's just—I mean, I like brisket, and that's probably the Jew in me and um, the Southern in me. I just love brisket. You got it from both ends. Yeah, I did. I got it. So, uh, Rudy's Barbecue in Gilbert. Nice job on the brisket, guys. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Mike Weinstein. Dina and I um, attended a lunch and learn this past week. And this Mike Weinstein, some of you may have heard of him. He's kind of a big deal in the real estate business here in Arizona. And he's kind of like, a, I don't know, an executive vice president of like West USA or something like that. I don't know. Or is that the West USA or something? It like was that? West USA. Yeah, he's like some big wig guy. But uh, he doesn't act like it. I mean, he's a pretty down to earth guy. He's a normal guy. And he's got a lot of cool ideas. Yeah, he had some good ideas. Teaching us. So I'm going to give a shout out to Mike Weinstein. And I have to say, I'm usually, just to be clear, a poo pooer on the like lunch and learn type situations. I'm just never, that's never been my thing. But I will say, I definitely learned a lot. I think I think it was well worth the time. And I think he did a great yep. job. He sure did. Absolutely. So shout out to them. And also, I want to give a shout out special to Padre of Nine again. I know I've given a shout out to Padre of Nine before. Padre. Yo, Padre. Um, because he has been a faithful listener from day one and and liking all of our stuff all of the time. So, Padre of Nine, special super ooper duper shout out. Kudos super to duper. you. And when you're in this part of the valley, we'll have some moonshine, buddy. All right? So... Okay, and coming up, it's Valentine's Day for those of you who Valentine's Day. <laughs> do what are you gonna get? partake in this. What are you going to get? Let's see. How, how many retail things have there been since Christmas has been over? Oh, my God. So here we go. So Valentine's, um, those of you who feel like you need to or expect it, you better partake. Dina sure and I did, don't really. If your reservations have been made, you're toast. Right. <laughs> Dina and I don't really do that stuff. And we haven't for a long nah. time. And it's just like, that's not our thing. That's just, and if it is your thing, hey, great. And it's, it's not that we're not romantic. We're just romantic. I mean, we found what our romance is, if that makes sense. Not everybody's romance is the same. Some people like that storybook romance and this is a romance. Well, that's not really what I thought Dina and I do things so and that's what makes our moonshine safari life well different than everybody different. else's it's all and it's not no two relationships hey, are the exactly same, so. exactly um hey we're gonna there we go again <laughs> i just can't help it uh shout outs to new listeners that have uh, tuned in or liked our stuff in the last couple uh last week or so uh steve Beringer. Hi, yo steve. steve what's up homie thanks for following us uh nicole carlson 
I'm gonna give her an extra special like shout out too because not only did Nicole Carlson start following us and she's liked like three or four of our shows like in a row. Thanks, um, Nicole. You're Nicole. The best. Yeah, like super duper shout out, right, Nicole. Gucci. Yeah. Who's here? Thank you so much, um, Jeff Cody Griffith. What's up, homie? Thanks for showing hey, up. Jeff. Thanks for hanging out with uh, Moonshine Safari and uh, the Galaxy Radio. The Galaxy Radio. The Galaxy Radio can be listened to in the galaxy. Something like All that. All right. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Although you do have a good radio voice. <laughs> you know, when I worked at McDonald's, they used to tell me that. <laughs> but it's always been true. You do have when a really good to, voice for that. Yeah. When I used to work the drive through they, they'd pull up and go, wow, you know, you really should work on, work on radio. I'm like, I'm 16 years old and I'm standing there with a headset on looking like a goober, you know, with that stupid bill hat. This is when we still had to wear the hats, the visors and stuff, you know. Um, yeah. So that's it. Um and just a special day for me and not to be a downer on anybody but uh actually on valentine's day is the memoriam or in judaism we call it the art site of my mom uh in her passing 2006 that's correct so in fact we're going to talk a little bit about that in our story how it how's it kind of impacted us and how it kind of impacted our marriage too um when she got sick and um uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that later. That's but a whole family affair, but we that's want to thank, coming up. Yeah, that's coming up. We want to thank you guys so much uh, for stopping by and your time. And hey, refer us to a friend if you like to. And send us an email. Or you know, a you guys have heard it tag. before. Like, yeah. share, subscribe. Do it. Do the little things, the notifications and the bells and the ringer dingers and all that. <laughs> whatever, they do. <laughs> whatever all that stuff is. All right, coming up. What? That's uh, what we're listening to. I don't know. Um, you're going to be really surprised at what I'm listening to. Uh, me too, probably. Shock. Actually, you will be surprised because though, anyway, <laughs> what's going on? We'll be right back. We'll be back. What's Dana listening to? What's Josh listening to? We're still new to this. <laughs> uh, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> did you like it? Did Were you, you impressed? Did, yes. Did you? Yeah. If you noticed something weird in the last segment, uh, just put a little comment down at the bottom. You're not losing. Something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're not losing it. Hashtag something weird happened. Hashtag this is <laughs> our life. Yeah. Hashtag Moonshine no Safari. editing skills. <laughs> All right. Hey, Dina. I said hey again. Hey, Josh. Um, what have you been listening to this week? I... I'm going to shock you to your very core. <gasps> Something different. The 80s mu music station on Amazon. <laughs> Nothing different. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all different. Oh, my goodness. Because they play the same. Okay. What I've kind of noticed about on Amazon's playlist, is what it seems to me, is they, in their playlist, whatever formula they have, it seems they've picked 15 artists. And that's it. Okay. And then they play one song from each artist's album and they just keep coming back and they just play over and over and over and over until they get done. And then they just repeat. That's what it seems like to me. It's possible. What happens with me for that play list station, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. is when I'm at the office, I'm not really extra paying attention. I got you. It's, background it's just background noise. noise. So it's like, sure. I like to have something that's familiar, but not take my attention. Sure. Um, I have been listening to Last Chance Writers, and that's a small group, and that's been touring, doing some stops in the South. Check them out. Um, I've seen them on Amazon. They have an album out. Uh, Last Chance Writers, YouTube as well. Just cool rock blues, kind of a country kind of thing. But uh, the singer, the female singer, she's got a cool voice. Um, check them out. Yeah, actually, it's very nice and bluesy. It's a good voice. She's yeah. got a nice voice. Also, I've been trying to listen to Cody Jinx, and a lot of people love Cody Jinx, and I think Cody Jinx got a great attitude. I love his outlaw country kind of attitude. Um, I'm just not connecting yet, so maybe something else. If you guys have a suggestion, and those of you who may be Cody Jinx fans, maybe suggest a certain song or an what album I should listen yeah. to, because uh, I'm just kind of like hunting and pecking right now, and the ones I've listened to um, they're not 
jiving with me. And I want them to. I want to jive well, with this Well, I was going to say, you know you how know? it is. A lot of times it's just about the hook. If you right. get the hook, you're in. He reminds me a lot of like the Waylon and the Hank Jr. and that kind of attitude. And I'm really, you know, I'm drawn to that kind of that music. So, uh, yeah, maybe something or, I don't know. Hey, Cody, if you're out there listening, send me a suggestion. <laughs> Give us an idea. <laughs> Give us an idea of where I should start listening to you, you know, and uh, what you think would... Uh, would be the best place. Okay, anyway, that's what we've been listening to. And what have you guys been listening to? If you have any suggestions, send that stuff in, yo. We haven't gotten any yet. Send it over. I've not gotten any yet. Send I know, we, some, want, we really do want to hear. Yeah, we really do. Hey, coming up, we're going to try and tickle your funny bone. At least make you smile. Maybe grin. Maybe roll your eyes a little bit. I don't know. Chuckle. Whatever. Sure. Guffaw. It's Monday <laughs> for us. Tuesday for yeah, you, Tuesday but still, you. it's All not right. Friday, so... Okay, stay tuned. Yeah! Oh, no, 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 no. Welcome back, everybody, to Moonshine Safari. I'm going to try and tickle you to funny bone. Tickle, tickle. Yeah. Hey, Dana, this guy says uh, to me, he goes, my wife's not too smart. And he says he told her that their kids are spoiled. You know what she said? What did she say? All kids smell that way. Nice. <laughs> She's awesome. Not, she's not too bright. She's not very smart. Oh, not too bright. Hey, coming up, peeve of the week. Let's get peeved. Peeved. Get ready to get your bridges in a bunch. It's time for peeve of the week. Welcome back, everybody, to Moonshine Safari. I'm Dina. You are Dina. What's up, Dina? I'm, I was first. <laughs> Just saying my name. You were. You were jumping up. You were giving me that eye. Hey, from Moonshine Safari Studios in Gilbert, Arizona. Brought to you by Josh and Dina. You trying to be the male Delilah? That's it. It's time for peeve of the week. All right. What are you peeved about? Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm peeved about. Let's hearken back to the me to the lunch and learn. And not Mike Weinstein, but the one. <laughs> You know what I'm talking the about. One. Even Mike Weinstein Knows mentioned the one. the one. And he was mentioning the one as the one was talking to him. It was pretty funny, actually. Pretty and you know what? The one actually knew they were the one, <laughs> which is what was funny, too. <laughs> and everybody else did, too. Um, That one was self-aware. That's true, which is, you know, really the biggest obstacle for well they usually are self-aware but they're not aware of anybody else that's the problem that's true right this is that's true. the that's because they are the one and you all know the one the one that whenever you're in class or you're in some kind of anything meeting seminar lecture or whatever right the one that asks every question that doesn't need to if they would just listen they would get all the answers but they feel like they have they're important and they must speak the Actually, one, we had two of the ones. We did have two of the ones. <laughs> if you really want because to there's all it. there's the one that you there's can say one. that one should. Why don't they just teach the class? There's because the one and that the one other will one. Not the stop. one and the other one. And then there's the other one. Oh, who, yeah. The, right. Usually have the one, but sometimes who wants you're lucky to ask the question that everybody goes to be blessed. Oh yes, good question. Very thought provoking. Lordy. And I'm really a rotten, sarcastic person, so you know uh, where that's coming from. So, yeah, Peeve, the one. Hey, guys, don't be the one. Don't be the one. Don't be the one. Please. No, don't be the one. If you have a pertinent question, ask the question. Absolutely. Sure, absolutely. But if you're just talking to be talking, shut the f up. All right? You almost made me say the bad F fudge word. <laughs> All right. Hey, coming up. It's pro tip of the week. Pro tip. Pro tip, pro tip, pro tip. Uchi. Get out your notepads. It's time for Pro Tip of the Week. Welcome back to Moonshine Safari, everybody. I'm Josh. I'm Dina. And that's Hoochie over there under the blanket. She is in his blanket. We she's just got her groomed. She got her groomed, and they're, she's like a seven pound dog. She it's really she's cold. Tiny. She's tiny. So she's got a sweater on, but she it's had, not enough. She's a multi poo. She's, her fur is more like poodle. And so she gets the naps, and she had the naps real bad, kind of. And uh, she needed to get trimmed up. It was really not 
cool. Okay, but. really, I didn't think she looked bad. I think no, she's she, pretty well, cute when she, she when she no, gets she frizzy does look like, like that. Cute like that, but um, it's the other dogs, they needed some help. <laughs> they just need to be yeah, well. Cracker's just a mess anyway. Hey, it's time for pro tip. And if you didn't know, that's Dean over there. And that's Josh. And that's Josh over here. Uh, pro tip of the week. Um, I have the pro tip again because I haven't shared this with her. Basically, my pro tip is, and this is what I have to learn. A lot of us think that we're really smart. I think I'm a smart person. And Dina thinks she's a smart person. And she is. And I am. And you probably are too because if you're listening to the show, you're a smart person. Must be. You must be. Because you've been drawn like a moth to the flame to the moonshine safari. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, my pro tip is, you know, there are people out there who you can learn from. If you want to progress in your life or in your business or what you ever, whatever you're seeking to do. And my pro tip to you is learn from those who have done it. Don't, I, Shelly, I think that's good. I really think it's good what you're saying. Yeah. Learn from those who've done it. Don't try to invent the, reinvent the wheel. You can add your little flair and your little ideas, but learn from those who. And the reason I'm saying that is this guy that we talked with uh, we, at this lunch and learn, he said some pretty profound things, but they weren't so profound. It was like so common sense that if you just open your damn eyes, you could see it plainly and clearly. But the problem is, is that we're so wrapped up in looking at ourselves and everything, we don't see that really by helping other people, you will be helping yourself in your business more. Yeah, and I think that for me, one of the things that sticks out, it's like, okay, I know what I'm good at, and I've always said this. I know what I'm good at, I know what I'm not good at. But not, don't just go, okay, I'm not good at that thing, and I'm not even going to try to be good at that thing. You have to, you have to try to step out of your comfort zone a little mm -hmm. bit and go, okay, grow up. <laughs> you can't just it's hard go, to do you know because it's it's like it's a mold in some ways that i don't fit into but i have to you know right we doesn't mean, matter there are people who are going to be way better at certain things that we're trying to learn how to do they have a gift for it they have a knack for it i don't have that so i'm i'm awkward in learning how to do certain things uh when it comes to the business world and the connecting and networking kind of thing so that's what we're doing we're trying to learn from people who've done it who know how to do it and know how to connect and know. So that's what we're doing. So some of these tips we're going to be sharing, we're going to be reading some books uh, coming up. Oh yeah, some books. And you're going to be familiar with some of them. And we're going to mention them some from time to time in the pro tips because I think they're going to be really relevant for us. Absolutely. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Hey, thanks for hanging in. Guess what? Coming up. It's our story. Story time. Story time. Once upon a time. All right. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Shh. Quiet and listen. It's time for Marriage Story of the Week. Welcome back to Moonshine Safari, everybody. I'm Josh. I'm Dina. Hey, this is our... There one. Hey, I'm in a, You know what? We should have... You should have a... Those of you who like to partake in drinking, if you're of you age and responsible, game. every time... <laughs> you be a drink. Every, let's listen to Moonshine Safari, and every time Josh says, hey, I goes, we can take a drink. <laughs> okay, but Josh... But you could do that with coffee or do? water. With, what do you do? What little things do I do? I don't think you do anything. You're saying I'm perfect. Not doing anything. Not doing anything like that. <laughs> not tw twerky or quirky like I do. Whatever. This is the time we talk about our moonshine safari. And as I alluded to earlier in the show, um, in the shout outs, that coming up on Valentine's Day is the yard site for my mother. Um, you might want to explain what a yard site is again. Yeah, a yard site is just a memorial of their death, of the death date, okay? And that's the Gregorian date. So um, she passed away in 2006 uh, on Valentine's Day. That was about three months after my father had passed away. Three months and one day, to be exact. Yeah, it was kind of a kind of a rough three month stretch there in uh, in in all of our lives. Um, and it was and it was it was rough. Anyway, I'm not trying to be a downer, but some of the things coming up, you know, her. Um, makes me start thinking about her i of start course, the timing yeah, absolutely. i start getting moody <laughs> sometimes without realizing it i start getting short and grumpy and several times dean has had to remind me hey you realize why you're grumpy right and it's like a couple days before 
and it hasn't really i mean i can i know it but i d- haven't it hasn't like resonated with me that that's the reason but she tells me in a gentle way too i mean she doesn't like bonk me over the head because she knows it's a sensitive time for me so anyway um we'll have to go back and say remember that i worked in retail i worked at uh well, he, and we all that stuff covered the fact that he worked in the church yeah. and then didn't. And then didn't, and didn't, uh, right, we talked about that. And then worked as a security guard at, at the Coke plant at one time and at uh, a hotel over in Scottsdale for a little while. And then as an armored car driver for Wells Fargo for a little while. And then um, got a job with Walgreens and then worked my way up to worked manager. Worked his way up, yep. And uh, from liquor clerk to overnight uh, assistant manager, to MGT, to EXA, to store manager. Uh, worked from the bottom, had no retail experience, but learned. Had a great uh, mentor, still a very good friend of mine. Super nice we guy. Hard, <laughs> we didn't always see the eye to eye when I worked with him, and and, it, he, and he had a temper, and I had a temper, and we get upset with one another, and but then you guys would always just get over it. Uh, well, I would okay him better than me because he'd like get on my case about something about the store not being swept or something, and I'd be pissed off. I go, "What do you want me to do? I can't do everything in the store. I'm doing everything at all I can. I'm one person and anything, you know." And he would be, uh, and I'd just be pissed off, and I would be like huffing and puffing and stuff all day. And he'd go, "All right, let's go to lunch." I go, "I don't want to go to lunch with you. I'm mad." <laughs> he go, "I'll stop. Let's go to lunch." I'm like, "No, I'm mad at you." And I would tell him, he's like, "No, let's go to lunch. Come on." And he was just that kind of guy. He's very much a father figure. He really was. In fact, he's old. He is technically old enough to be my father. And uh, but he's more of like a big brother to me. He's like he's just a good friend. He is, and we still we keep in touch from time to time. I see him on Facebook and we chat and you know that kind of stuff. He's active and retired now, but um, yeah, he's a good friend. So I just give shout out to John. Shout out. Shout out to hey, John. John. Hey, John. Uh, we need to get together sometime, John, and have some lunch. Okay. Um, so I worked for them, and then my um, my mother got diagnosed with cancer, uh, with uh, colon cancer. Well, she had been having some, some sort of health issues. Right. And um, um, had gone to the doctor a few times, but what was unbeknownst to us is that the doctor was giving her some direction on some tests he wanted her to take and she was resistant. she didn't do it yeah she didn't do it and unfortunately uh she got to a place that she was having some some serious issues and then the doctor she tried no to perform those tests and could not um and then had to go in a surgery and removed a football size type tumor from her um and then sewed her up and she had a colostomy And then she had to go through chemo and she was doing that. And I was still working at the time and Dina was working at the time and we had little kids. I was working uh, at that point. I think I was pretty part-time. Yeah, but you were still working. But I was working. Uh, And I was working full-time. I had a store, had my own store and um, I just opened a new store and I was working hard and, and we were doing good. And of course I was always getting along with my bosses. (laughs) Always, always, <laughs> because that's something that Josh learned Ooh, when he was. Ooh, because I always get along with very my bosses. First bo- um, jobs. Lordy have mercy. Anyway, um, so uh, thank God for Dina and her family who was able to take my mom, because um, my father really couldn't drive and my mom uh, couldn't drive. So they were taking her to the chemo and to the doctor's appointments and everything. And then on one time they were to go into my, to the chemo. My father uh, was having some problems and his, some swelling in his leg, he noticed. And it was just very uncomfortable. And they took him to the emergency room. And lo and behold, they found that he had pancreatic liver cancer. Now, both my parents were smokers their entire life, pretty much. And didn't eat very well at all. And that was a lot of it. Um, so well, and then part of it's just <clears throat> sucking and then time sedentary. Life. It, just is it is, life. and they had they they live sedentary lifestyles, and it's just that kind of stuff catches up to you over over a period of time. It just does. Um, but you know, so then my father, he's they're both going through cancer treatments, and basically almost at the same time, and then uh, my mom. After I don't even know how long it had, it had been, 
it had been a while, well, and she okay, got she the all clear. Diagnosed in O three. Okay. And then, um, I mean, she was kind of going along, like you said, she had the chemo, and then your dad, I think, was diagnosed several months later. And, and my mom also had this thing too that was part of what was going on. Right, called cataplexy. it was definitely activated. I think by it. I think so too. This cataplexy, and you guys can Google that. It's it's kind of like it, it's kind of like a narcolepsy where it, you know people have narcolepsy, they just fall asleep, boom, and they can't keep them. It's not you don't actually go to sleep, but it's like your body goes to sleep, but your mind is still awake. Yeah. So it's the opposite. So most of you probably know that when you go to sleep and your body locks itself down, so you don't act out what your brain is thinking, it keeps you still, right? So when you have this um, cataplexy, what happens is your body freezes, but your mind's still going. So she would have this high emotion, like she would get really like it could be, it tickled. It could be funny. It doesn't yeah. have to be bad. We would be playing cards at Canasta, and we would... We, oh man, and she would Hashtag have Hashtag Canasta. We woo. love Canasta, by yeah. the way. And she would she would get, have a hand, and she's getting ready to pick up a stack, and oh, she's getting ready to she's getting ready to show because it was always my mom and Dana and me and my dad playing against each other because you're not allowed to play we with your spouses. Let, right, we, didn't let, we didn't let spouses play with right, each other for a couple right. of reasons. First of all, his parents would have killed everybody because yeah. they were just was good. So, so fun, and that we're talking. This has been. I mean, this was a while ago. I mean, we're talking. You know. They've been gone since 2006. Yeah, I mean, we're talking so, like, you know, a while back. we started before they got sick. So yeah, 2002, 20 years ago, to, yeah. you know. 20 yeah. years ago. And we're playing Canasta and, you know, we're young, but we love it. You know, we play cards. Oh, we had a great just, time. And we play we music and just like, well, I mean, when I, the song I wrote, This Whiskey's For You, that's part of the song when it says, hey, you love playing cards and music all Saturday long. That's what we used to do. We'd go over there and we'd bring the guitars and we'd bring our karaoke sleeve of, stuff and we would plug that thing in the little kids you know dina and del toro would be belting out songs and you know rocky top and all yeah. the stuff and we'd be singing and uh holding our nose when the willie nelson song came out and um they just got a kick out of it mom did oh dad did. yeah she she um has several cassette tapes um just of just that everybody singing yeah she would record us yeah <clears throat> she would record us and then she would send them to family members and <laughs> which that was a little embarrassing but right but because uh, we just do it for it. fun yeah it was fun um so um she kind of got she got went back and she got the all clear that she was cancer free and we were like thank you god it's amazing because the thing is with your dad it was not, there, we weren't it was not we weren't anticipating getting that it was I inoperable mean, it and, would have been had yeah. to be a miracle it would i mean once it's I mean, pancreatic cancer and it's like it's really not a thing but anyway um so everything was cool we thought and she was getting better she started looking better and you know dad was not doing so much better and uh uh she started kind of run downhill again it was two weeks we had two weeks thinking that she was clear. She started having some intestinal issues and, and, uh, yeah. And you remember she had the colostomy, but she was still having other, some issues. And then she, uh, had to, she went back in, they had to go back in surgery. And I remember, um, uh, well, my dad up there and, um, yeah, it was a sad time to watch my dad. Yes, kind of well, he's ill. Yeah, he's not and feeling good. He's having to worry about your mom. Yeah, he's he's been having chemo, and he's not he's very weak and not doing well. And uh, you know, my mom's going in for her second surgery to see what's up, and come to find out, the doctor comes out, and my brother and I and my dad are sitting there and the waiting area, and he comes out, <clears throat> and he basically just says, "Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's all it's back, it's all in there." And I'm like, "Wait, what? Wait, wait, what?" It just didn't even register. And my dad was just in shock. I could just tell a look on his face. And I don't know if my brother, I don't remember if my brother was listening or not. But um, see, I guess this time her small intestines had, had um, become blocked. And so it, nothing could even make it to the colostomy. So when he got in there, he just realized, yeah. And unfortunately, once you have chemo and radiation. You're so damaged. Nothing can heal. So when he cut into her the second time, none of her intestines healed. And so basically just leaked out into her 
body and she basically died of sepsis that's of what sepsis. she did yeah, right that's basically how she died so cancer yes mm-hmm. sepsis is this guy technically is the reason te- the, right On but the, the like, reasoning the was yeah the reasoning was the cancer <clears throat> and that was a that was a very crappy time um now my father had passed away three months prior to that um on the day before Dan's birthday um yep so yeah it was uh, that that three month run was was kind of crappy and i'm you know and i'm intervening like this is very much more josh's story than mine no Um, it's our story because seriously if not for you still your parents no but if not for you you never question what i had to do I, well, I mean, I had, I moved out of the, I mean, okay, first off, I, we didn't really say this. Okay. So things that, things at work were, I didn't know what to do. My, my parents needed more than, I mean, with both of them sick, they needed full-time care at home. And somebody watched my brother who lived at home was unfortunately not equipped to handle it. Uh, my sister who lived in the Valley was also, I guess, not equipped to handle it really as much. So I just, well, we, we kind of talked about it. To be 100% fair, she also was working in her no, husband's No, that's work. what I mean. No, yeah. I wasn't. No, I'm just saying she had she had her plate was full. Right. So we had to decide what was going to happen. So it was very much a leap of faith because, <sighs> yeah. I mean, I was it really. It was a scary, scary, scary I was scary very thing. part-time. And I I'm had, not going to say, okay, I'm not going to say that it w- wasn't God. I'm not going to say it was God. I like to think it was. I like I've thanked him for it. <laughs> <laughs> So if you believe in God, but I'm not going to say that I asked for this because I didn't. All I said was, you know what? We got to take care of my parents and then we'll have to just handle whatever comes. And this was, some of you may go boo, but this is, this was actually at the peak of the housing boom. And Dina had just, had been working in the I mortgage. I started it. I was not, I was very much limping along. I wasn't doing very much. But this was perfect timing for this because as this hit and i i quit walgreens i i'd been there for 11 years and i i planned to continue um but indefinitely i'd had i mean i couldn't i didn't have a choice but there were things that were going on at walgreens too that i didn't like and the politics and the bs that goes on there like any other corporation and stuff which you know me and my i'm so timid and i don't speak out or say stuff you are very timid we that, feel, we, we worry about you that gets me in trouble so much but anyway so it was okay it was a good passing so so i left retired or whatever you want to say from walgreens and went to take care of my parents and would work in in fact and there for a while moved out of the house uh, to take care of them and lived there and you know dana and the kids they understood. I never got one peep, one complaint. I would get up and come here and take showers and get clean clothes and stuff and go back for a while. And I wouldn't see you guys for a while. You were exhausted. It's like I was gone for <clears throat> days and days at a time. And whenever I did get to see him, it was it was great. I mean, it was like I needed that refueling to see her and to see the kids. It was important to. But I had to do this. And I have any regrets about that because I, I no, felt like I did what needed I needed to, to do. So I quit my job and I take care of my mom and dad. And, uh, my, my, my pop passed away on November 13th of 2005 2005. and, uh, yeah, my mom, February 14th, 2006. Well, and what Josh had started to say and then, you know, uh, I don't know that he finished, but it was perfect timing when he was, he left Walgreens and my boss who, like I said, I was just kind of my independent thing out there trying to figure out how to be a loan officer. (laughs) Um, and he came to me and he goes, you know what? I need an assistant. Oh yeah. And, um, I was like, well, oh, I'll do it. And she's still his <laughs> assistant to this day. And he said, um, <laughs> well, I think he was a little worried at first. Cause he's like, well, you have little kids. Are you going to be like, I go, oh, I'm just telling you, I'll get my work done. And so, yeah, he hired me and it's been 15 and a half years now, go. which is See? crazy. There you go. And he's hands down the best boss I've ever had. So and yeah, I can. And here's a shameless ever... plug: if anybody out there in the Arizona or California area needs any loan stuff, shoot us a thing and say, "Hey, I need this." And then we can. And then we can talk about where we're at. Yeah, because I, I don't necessarily try yeah. to put any companies out there. No, we're not like trying that, to do that. But, but I'm just saying, if, if you, you need do, some help, that's what we're here. We are here. Yeah, we're going to use this platform to help. That's what we're here for—to help you, okay, and to entertain you. 
And to help ourselves and because really it's kind of therapy for us. To bum you out because apparently that's what you're doing. No, tonight. I'm not trying to do not that. Not really. I'm not going to try to do that. So, uh, in fact, I think that's probably a good place to end it. And then maybe we can kind of pick up uh, next time. I don't know. With the after or yeah, something some else. Things if that we happens. choose something else. Yeah, something else. But kind of want to let you know that that was a big major thing that happened to me. And, and here's the thing. Dina never once during that time I can ever think was or her family and I always get along with her family but during that time there was no one else I could have depended on but them and they were there all of them and I thank them for that and I've been grateful to them for that and I still am and even the kids the kids understood and they were little yeah, they were good. But though. Dina explained to them. And it's like there's we, funny. There's pictures of them. Just like I can see Robin sitting in the chair over there playing <laughs> with her Game Boy because we'd go t- so we could spend time with you in yep. the evening sometimes. So anyway, yep. yeah, yep. It, the kids were great. The kids were awesome. They were really helpful, and you know they were good. They weren't too much of a pain for you. And that they was were good not because you were pretty much single mom in it there for a while. Oh, I mean, and I had help too because I mean, my mom was helping, and it was just. I know, yeah. but she was also helping us, and we had a bunch of yeah. people, so it was really good. And not to say that my 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 brother and sister didn't help because they did. They did help, um, but it was like it was. Everybody knows that when there's somebody that gets ill in the family like that, there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done, and, and some people hard. don't like to face it, and they they have to hide, and that's the way they try and deal with it. And I can understand that, um, and some people ha- just have to stand in the face of the the giant and fight it they don't have a choice they don't feel like they have a choice and you just have to so um and that's okay so they're different people for different things and that's just the way it is anyway hey coming up it's drinks and recipe time drinks and recipes oh i got a good one for you oh got something good something real good real good real good Pull out your mason jars for moonshine, safari, drinks, and recipes. Welcome back to Moonshine Safari, everybody, from Gilbert, Arizona. Gilbert. Yes, on our first fast day. Beautiful and... Gilbert. Yeah. Woo. It's so fun. Well, I'm not hungry. Medina says she's hungry. But I she am only hungry. ate half of a half of an egg and, you know, some air and some <sighs> water and maybe a... Uh, crystal of salt everybody wants to know this but there was um some studies coming out of usc for people with ms and now everybody knows i have it um and they say that fasting three days a week three weeks a month it can create it's new stem cells there's a whole right. thing it's an optimal so, thing where your body puts itself i've been into trying it for the last year so regeneration mode where it cleans out the old cells and produces new cells and you... And really, it's just... You know what? It's not bad for anybody, really. It's a fast mimicking diet. So we're actually right. eating, but you we keep your eating. calorie intake down to... Really low. Really low. And there's a certain formula. You can actually buy the kits. Uh, just look up... You can. Fast mimicking diet and USC and... It'll, I forget what the doctor's name is. Jung, 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 I, I forgot. I and- anyway... It'll come up, I promise. And then you can order it. It's like $250 or something. We tried it, and then all you do is kind of adapt it. Try it once, and then adapt it to your life. And that's what we've done. And that's what we've done. That's what we've done. And it's been helpful to me, too. I mean, I weighed 320 pounds in 2016, and I'm at 250. To be fair, that's not all you did. We started with a different diet. Well, we did. That's true. But uh, ended at 250, but then lost 25 pounds when we went through this like bam yeah i mean it was like almost like in a month. too much to be yeah. honest i lost 25 pounds like in a month doing this fast mimicking well also we were on keto so it was like a double whammy at this at the same time so it was good well not real good i don't think i look that great at 225 i'm too like veiny <laughs> you looked very thin <laughs> gaunt and veiny hey this is drinks and recipe time what the hell were you talking about drinks yeah what are we talking about here? I don't know. Let's, let's, hey, from let's hear it. Johnson Distillery Company in Bardstown, hey, Kentucky. Kentucky. Hope you enjoyed First the podcast. Swaller, if you did, make you sure holler. that you like, That's comment, and subscribe to our channel, as well as check like, the description the for information on our social media sites, on the bottle. I as well as our Patreon account to help support our adventures commercial. in the moonshine wilderness. pay me for this. And he's from the South. He could put right. that accent in there. If you Georgia want. Moon Corn Whiskey. That's right. 80 proof. And it's delicious. And it was kind of an accident, Ooh. to be honest. Um, I ordered from a delivery service, 
and moonshine delivery. Yeah, no, actually, what's that's not really a safari if they deliver it to you. I know, I made them <laughs> safari. <laughs> uh, and you know what's amazing to me is that none of the like liquor delivery services, none of their inventory is ever updated. So every time you place yeah, an order, that's you a, just wait for the phone call because they're going to call you, There's and they're going to go, "Hey, you. we don't have that thing or that thing or that thing." And then basically, I go, "Okay, just tell me what you do have, and let's figure it out." <laughs> so um, anyway, and a super nice, super nice guy called, and he goes, "Hey, I don't have the one thing that I ordered. I'm not going to tell you which one it is because it's not. I'm not going to be rude about it." But he goes, "But what I do have is the what's it called again? Georgia Moon." From Johnson's Distilling Company in Bardstown, Kentucky. First you swaller, then you holler. All right, Vanna. Anyway. Georgia Moon Corn Whiskey. So they, he said they had that. Can I exchange that for that? And I go, yeah, please. Go ahead and send it. And um, Josh has loved it. Yes. Loved it so much. I loved it empty. <laughs> he loved it all gone. <laughs> I loved it all gone. <laughs> yep. Almost loved up, though. Uh, that's right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, oh, brother, where are reference? That's right. By the way, one of the best movies ever. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's right. So, yeah. Tasty. And just straight. I just, yeah. It's good. You it's don't. It's tougher than me. You, you don't need anything. It's just delicious, just like it is. I mean, you could, but you don't have to. I didn't. But you could. But you could. But you don't have to. But you don't have to. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. I guess it's time to wrap it up. I guess that's about it. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by and your time and all if that If you guys stuff. have any topic ideas, please send them along. I mean, we've talked about different things. I mean, obviously, we've gone, we've been going through our kind of our safari. You guys want to hear my poop stories. Yeah, you want to hear That's the poop story. That's what you want to hear. Work stuff. You want to hear Josh's um, poop. Not my personal poop story. Not 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 like it it happened to me. Like he's my right, poop. He wants to be someone else's poop. Very but clear I was, that this was not him. Right. Um. Because see, when I say Josh's poop stories, they're thinking, "Oh man, he's got like irritable bowels." He's nervous. got some issues. <laughs> no, not that. No, I've just unfortunately worked in places that unfortunately people have had bowel issues. And I've had to take care of it. Well, see, on numerous occasions. I'm just saying, going all the way back to freaking when I was. I at feel for people who have Peter bowel Piper issues. Pizza, my first job, <laughs> and then the okay, I can I picture in my mind, still to this day, the one at McDonald's. I couldn't even get. I was borrowing perfume from the girls. To try and get the stink out. I cleaned it up. I bleached it. I, it just wouldn't go. I it like permeated into the tile. It was just unbelievable. Anyway. Anyway. I get anyway. It. I, all I, right. I, I, <laughs> I've gone past. We will talk about those we will poop talk stories about someday. Them. I just wanted to we might clarify. We even do a show at one point on my Harry Potter fixation. <laughs> so we have a lot of ideas, but we want to see what other people would like to hear. Yeah, so let us know. Hey, everybody, have a great rest of your week. And, please uh, and have please, a, Friday, come on soon. And please be safe. Be good to one another, okay? Let's let's be human Put beings. Put aside the stuff that, let's be you know, human. we don't have to agree be kind. on stuff. You can have your opinion. You don't have to wear it on your sleeve. You don't have to rage about everything. And not only that, you don't have to make everybody agree with you. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay to have different ideas, but see the great thing that used to be about this country is we could talk about it, but now it's like, if you don't agree, I'm going to beat you over the head with a stick and that's called being bullies. So stop that crap. Anyway, shine happens, everybody from have a good Moonshine week, Safari Studios in Gilbert, Arizona. Gilbert, Arizona. Bye. Hey y'all, welcome to Moonshine Safari. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as well as check the description for information on our social media sites as well as our Patreon account to help support our adventures in the moonshine wilderness.